So just because you feel peace doesn't mean that what you're doing is right. It's not about the peace in your heart. You will have the peace in your heart if the word of God has come into your heart. Your spirit will agree with the word that is in there. If you're ignorant, your spirit has nothing with which to deal with. It has got no information. It's got nothing to bear witness. Remember, our spirits bear witness with the spirit of God that we are the sons of God. Because that is number one thing that it comes to do in your life. He starts you out on that. Then instructs you to study the scriptures, to study the word. And begin to condition your mind. Condition your mind. Go to Romans chapter 12 from verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Next verse. And be not conformed to this world. You see that? Be not conformed. Because you can be conformed to this world. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. How will you renew your mind? With new information. From the word of God. That's why we study. That's why we meditate. On God's word. If you don't know the word... How will your spirit guide you? Your spirit will not be a trusted guide because he's ignorant. He's ignorant. So he says, study to show thyself approved of God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Jesus said, you err because you know not the scriptures. You err because you know not the scriptures. So the scriptures can be to you a sure guide. 